This is my brutally honest review of The Sims 4 Crystal Creations. This is a part of a series where I review every single pack for The Sims 4 with brutal honesty. EA describes Crystal Creations as a pack about crafting dazzling jewellery and give your creations a spark of power. Fill your collection with colourful new crystals and metals. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously when I do that voice. All charged up. Search out crystals or pluck them off the crystal tree and get ready to supercharge. Dark and dreamy, pair your shining creations with a hint of mintery. I said that wrong. I meant to say a hint of mystery, but I said mist of hintery. All right, with the, on with the bloody pack review. The creator sim stuff here doesn't feel that special. It feels very rehashed, which is pretty standard considering how many packs we've actually actually got now. I guess the women's dresses are okay. There's four of them. There's a women's top and also a skirt. They aren't my style, but I know a lot of simmers who will like them. The problem for me is just a total lack of stuff, especially for male sims, by the way. The only hairstyles they got are the two butch lesbian cuts with absolutely nothing unique for masculine sims. And before all of the woke brigades start yelling at me, why would I have a problem with butch lesbian haircuts? I actually find quite a lot of butch lesbians very very attractive and I'm saying that as a gay man I'm not butch lesbian phobic I very much like butch lesbians I'd probably date a butch lesbian if they had a dick but I feel like masculine sims should have got actually masculine hairstyles that were unique to them also men got no full body outfits also I feel like female sims deserved at least one pair of trousers the hairstyles themselves don't really feel that unique it just feels like remeshes of stuff we We've had before but with some kind of rings or bands in the hair. Kids get one bracelet and we've also got some studs for all younger life stages. The kids also get the butch lesbian hairstyle too. One thing I do give credit for is that everything is either like open neck or it's closed neck but very tight so you can see all jewellery. It's also short sleeve so you can see all bracelets which I actually think was quite genius. The crystal shoes are very very cursed on a scale of one to eyeball ring it's giving a solid eight. Although I do think it's important to note that this pack comes with a lot of jewellery which is locked behind the gameplay so I will let the cast slide slightly although as EA likes to upsell small gameplay concepts into totally separate packs like there's just too many packs yes I will judge them very very harshly if I don't think that there's enough stuff in these packs because there are a lot of money and there's a lot of them and I don't feel like the jewellery coming in the gameplay is an excuse to not have enough outfits and also barely anything for male sims. Well, there's nothing even for female sims this time too. There's nothing for anybody. It's nice enough, but there's not enough. It's getting a six out of 10 for creator sim mode. Taking a look at build mode, there's a lot of generic clutter objects, some random generic furniture, like a sofa and a lamp. There's a really nice bookshelf and the crafting desk that comes with it is very, very nice. It comes with some smaller decorations decorative things too, although I don't think there's enough here to make a full coherent build, let alone even a full coherent room. I will say though the modular shelving for your crystals is very very nice. I like that they've got like a, I guess kind of more modern modular one, but they've also got a couple of old fashioned looking shelves too where you can put all your crystals and your gems and your jewellery and things which I think is really nice. Just with create sim mode, I think this stuff looks nice, I just genuinely don't think there's enough to be able to fill a whole room and because the aesthetic of the base game stuff is very different to this stuff if you only have this pack and base game alone I think it will be really difficult to actually build just like one room. The issue I have is that it feels like an extension to Realm of Magic. If you own the Realm of Magic pack I'm sure you'll find that the build stuff looks very very similar. The Sims 4 is so disjointed I hate it. This feels really exploitive and inhumane for me to say but if you do already own Realm of Magic this pack is basically an add on for Realm of Magic. This is my first Realm of Magic stuff. Kind of like my first pet stuff requires cats and dogs. Unofficially, I feel like Crystal Creations requires Realm of Magic and especially with the build mode. Although I do give it credit for looking very pretty. I feel like there's almost enough to make a nice little workspace if you're a gem crafter. It gets a 7 out of 10 for build mode. Taking a look at gameplay, there's a new aspiration in the pack. Weirdly, it's labeled as a nature aspiration 
not a creative one, even though it revolves around a creative hobby. And it gives you a reward trait which allows you to gain charge from crystals. Now, I actually think the crafting table is really good. I actually really love the UI for this because the UI for all of the other crafting things is just text. Whereas this one actually has pictures and it's a lot more intuitive and easy to understand. I almost wish they updated all of the different kinds of crafting tables from the base game and other packs to match this. I just think it would work so much better. There's a lot of different stuff that you can make in tons of customization options. So you can customize the metal itself and you can customize the gems that you use. It's really, really unique. Honestly, there's probably like hundreds of combinations. The crystals that you use are the things that change the power up or the effect that it has. There are honestly so many different combinations of effects. I couldn't possibly mention them all, but thankfully they all do a little bit more than merely changing your mootlet. They all seem to have some kind of practical use relating to skill gain or need gain, or there's even one that actually lets you summon the Grim Reaper, which is quite fun to use. I feel like a lot of people will like that one. To get the full effect of a cut crystal that you've made, or to get the full effect of a jewelry piece that you've made, you can charge it at night time using a special plate. How long it takes to charge actually depends on whether it's a full moon or a new moon, which I really like. I also want to point out that is cross pack play for crystals from other packs. So if you have the crystal from the jungle adventure pack, this will actually help you with excavation. So I think that's pretty cool. Now, of course, like actually being able to make and wear jewelry is supposed to be the big part of this. I personally don't care much about wearing the jewelry, but you can do so if you want to. You can also sell it and gift it and even make an engagement ring. And I think it's great that the pack came with a sales table, so you can basically use it to sell your jewelry anywhere. And I did test the jewelry and cut gems with the get to work retail system, and it does work in a shop. Although I think there's a bug with get to work when you close your retail store and leave the lot or the unsold items get put back in your inventory. I don't know if this is an issue with get to work itself or the items specifically that come with crystal creations because I've never seen that before. In the past, if I put an item for sale, but then I leave the shop, I can come back and the items are still there. But with this pack, they get returned to your inventory, which I thought was a bit weird. I feel like it's a bug and I feel like it's specific to crystal creations. I did also test selling jewelry on Plopsy, although weirdly there is a bug with this, so it doesn't work. You can only sell your creations for five simoleons and absolutely no more. So clearly there's a bug going on there that they need to fix. It will probably get fixed in about two or three years, knowing the time scales. Also, another bug with Plopsy, you can wear like jewelry, but then you can list it on Plopsy whilst you're wearing it, which I, I feel like is another bug. At a certain level, you can start crafting a crystal seed, which you can use to grow into a crystal tree, which I think is really cool. And you can harvest like random crystals from it. I honestly think there's a lot of fun to be had here. And that's because you can enjoy this stuff pack in different ways. Simmers have been asking for more hobby related activities for ages. So it's nice we finally have something new. I also think that it's really great the way it interacts with the base game so well, because let's be honest, none of us ever really played with the whole crystal thing. Maybe you do when you first actually get the Sims for, but then afterwards you think like, what the hell is a point? So I'm glad that crystals now actually have a little bit more purpose. I'm assuming the next stuff pack is gonna be something to do with crafting something with frogs. Maybe we'll get a French one and we'll be able to eat the frogs from the frog logs. Maybe we'll be finally able to do something with the My Sims trophies. <laughs> I don't know what they're gonna tackle next. Now, I would be lying if I didn't tell you that this pack felt exploitive. This should have been a part of Realm of Magic, which should have further been a part of a wider supernatural expansion pack like we got in The Sims 3. To cash grabby, exploitive Sims 4 pack system standards, I think that Crystal Creations is a nice enough pack. Most of us have been dying for more hobbies for our Sims for ages, so I think it's a really nice hobby to have in the game. One small thing to be constructive to EA, I genuinely believe that they should have updated all in-game worlds with brand new crystal spawners because a lot of the newer worlds especially, they don't really have any crystal spawners, so it's hard to find crystals. I just feel like that was a little bit overlooked. But in general, I think this new Sims team, I think they're based in Germany or somewhere else in mainland Europe who are making like the stuff packs and things now. I actually think they're doing a much better job with understanding what Simmers want in a stuff pack. For both this one and the Home Chef Hustle,
castle stuff pack which they recently released too. The crater sim mode stuff and the built mode stuff was a little bit of a miss but I think they're spot on with the gameplay and I'm excited to see what brand new stuff packs that we get in the future. Crystal Creations I think is a nice update to your game if you enjoy hobbies related gameplay and giving your sim something more to do especially if you like the idea of running a business and selling things especially if you like uh, this feels so exploitive saying this but especially if you like a pack like Round of Magic or Werewolves I think it ties into that vibe very very well. I am giving Crystal Creations an 8 out of 10 for gameplay. So in total Crystal Creations is getting a 7 out of 10. Create a sim mode was a miss build mode was a miss but I think the gameplay is pretty decent. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future brutally honest reviews and if you appreciated this review please consider watching one of the next two videos recommended here. Thank you very much for watching I will see you in the next one.